We're asked to compare the two decimals using less than, greater than, or equals. First we want to compare 5.5 .5 and 5.6. Let's place both decimals in the place value chart below, where we have 5.5 .5 and 5.6. To compare two numbers, we want to compare the digits in the place values from left to right or from the greatest place value to the least place value. So starting on the left, notice how both decimals have a five in the ones place value, but now when we compare the tenths place value, 5.5 .5 has a five in the tenths, and 5.6 has a six in the tenths. So we can say because five is less than six, 5.5 .5 is less than 5.6. We can also say because six is greater than five, 5.6 is greater than 5.5. .5. Because 5.5 .5 is listed first, from left to right we say 5.5 .5 is less than 5.6. For an inequality symbol, it always points toward the smaller value and opens toward the larger value. But this can be read from left to right as well as from right to left. Again, we can say 5.5 .5 is less than 5.6 from left to right or from right to left, we can also say 5.6 is greater than 5.5. .5. Next, we want to compare 5.9 and 5.89. Let's place both decimals in the place value chart. And now I'll compare the place values from left to right. Again, both decimals have a five in the ones place value However, in the tenths place value, 5.9 has a nine and 5.89 has an eight. Because nine is greater than eight, we know 5.9 is greater than 5.89. Or because eight is less than nine, we can say 5.89 is less than 5.9. It may also be helpful to place a zero in the hundredths place value of 5.9. If we read these two numbers now, we can say that five and 90 hundredths is greater than five and 89 hundredths, or five and 89 hundredths is less than five and 90 hundredths, which means 5.9 is greater than 5.89, or 5.89 is less than 5.9. For the third example, we want to compare 1.003 and 1.0030. Again, let's place both decimals in the place value chart. And now we compare the place values from left to right. Both have a one in the ones place value, a zero in the tenths, a zero in the hundredths, and a three in the thousandths. Then the first decimal doesn't have a digit in the ten thousandths place value, but the second decimal has a zero in the ten thousandths place value. But we should recognize that if we place a zero in the ten thousandths place value, for 1.003, it does not change the value, and therefore these two decimals are equal. I hope you found this helpful.